Mm. Well, good morning. <laughs> you caught me having a, a little drink of coffee. Hey, listen, I, I want to explain. My name is Jim Sunderworth, and I'm, I'm from The Swing. And, and, you know, we're doing these five-minute devotions, and they go so quickly that yesterday I got right into my subject and got talking about Abraham. Because we're talking about Abraham and faith and all that. But I, I didn't mention where I'm coming from again. We're coming from the book of Genesis and, and the beginning to, to work with God, beginning to work with Abraham is the 12th, uh, 12th chapter. And we've been kind of flying through. And yesterday I took everything that I was, uh, was talking about, um, about Sodom and Gomorrah and all this kind of thing, and the kings, from chapter 14 of Genesis. So if you're sitting there going, well, where in the world, what's he, where is all this? Well, it's in Genesis, beginning of the 12th, and you go through the story of Abraham all the way, all the way through. Well, uh, yesterday we ended up talking about Mel Melchizedek, you know, the, the very high priest, and, and uh, how, how he blessed Abraham. But I, I wanted to share with you again that as he was um, in the area, the king of Sodom, which had been defeated, he came out to um, Abraham and he said, I want to thank you for all that you did for us. And you came and, and got us free and got our stuff back. And, and I just want to thank you. In other words, he said, um, he said that he, the, the king said to him, um, I want to give you, take anything that you want I want to give you some goods I want to give it to you and I want you to take all these these things for for uh, as a bounty for what you did for us and here's what here's what um, Abraham said Abram said he said that I will not take from thine hand or even from like a shoe latch that I will not take anything that is thine lest you would say that I have made Abraham rich he said I don't take anything from you because I don't want anybody to get the glory for my life and my provisions but God Man, when we live that way man we're free I mean your possessions um, they're they're his and if and if you don't hold them too tight you say God has given them to me so therefore God has to protect them and God has to uh, you know uh, make sure that they're, they're taken care of I, I don't want to have a bunch of stuff if God's <laughs> hadn't given it to me because then I have to take care of it then I have to protect it and I have to have fear that it, that it look if God gave it to me and he takes it away that's one thing that, that's his prerogative he's my he's my Lord he's my source not my stuff and that's what Abraham was saying my stuff is not my source and I don't want anybody to get any glory that would give it to me I, I, I want God to get all the glory and listen to what well, listen to what he says in chapter 15 after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision and said, Fear not, Abram, for I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. See, I mean, there he was tested. Oh, he could have taken all that stuff and got richer and richer and, and, and thought nothing of it. He, he seemed like he earned it. But no, no, no. No. He didn't want to take anything from anyone. Because he said, God is my source. I am so thankful for that. And he says, And Abram said, O Lord, wilt thou give me, seeing I am going childless. Uh, he, was a, he was about 86 years old during this time. And he said, uh, I, I have no uh, children. Um, would you let Eliezer, my servant, be the one that, that, uh, that you give the inheritance to or, or the seed comes from? And God says, no, no, no. Behold, the word of the Lord came to him and saying, This shall not be thine heir, but he shall come forth out of thine own bowels and shall be thine heir. You are going to have an heir. And he believed the Lord and counted unto him as righteous. So here we have the story of Abraham, a, a father of faith. He goes through all this. God's made him rich. God is ordering his steps. God called him. He's staying out and um, becoming. And then all of a sudden he said, God told him he's gonna he's gonna have a great nation, but he had no children, and so he said, "Okay," he said, "I've got my faithful servant." He said, "No, he won't be his heir, because you see, God, what God promises, God's gonna he, he's a God of promise, he's got a purpose, and he's a God of provision, and he's going to provide." And it's kind of a, a, a great story as we get into how God uh, developed Abraham's faith on his journey uh, in relationship with God, and that's us too. That's us. He's, he's kind of our mentor when we talk about the walk of faith. Okay? 
We'll continue tomorrow. See ya. <laughs>